We have an update tonight on the latest mass shooting in our country. Investigators calling the massacre that left five dead and eight wounded Monday morning in Louisville a targeted attack. That's right, a 25-year-old carrying an assault-style rifle opening fire on his co-workers inside a downtown bank. Jay Gray is at the scene with the very latest. Jay? Good evening, Scott. Good evening, Jessica. Police, with help from federal agents here, still searching for a motive in the attack. Louisville, now the latest American city with a growing makeshift memorial draped in caution tape, tragically familiar symbols of another mass shooting. Images of horror and heroism. Officers rushing in to confront a mass shooter just minutes after he opened fire inside the old National Bank in downtown Louisville. They stopped the threat um, so other lives could be saved. Police confirmed the 25-year-old shooter was a current employee at the bank armed with an AR-15 rifle legally purchased just last week. And investigators say he was live streaming the massacre online. Now, a day after the attack, five dead, eight injured, two, including a police officer, still in critical condition. Louisville becomes the latest city caught in the vicious and sadly familiar cycle of mass shootings in America. A spray of bullets followed by a string of questions, including how and why. There's only so many times you can walk into a room and tell someone they're not coming home tomorrow. Raw emotion and grief we are despondent. Quickly, giving way to anger and demands for change. Put those policies in place that put people first. People over guns, kids over guns, public safety over guns. Words echoed in some form after more than 140 mass shootings this year alone. Words to this point, many say, without any real action, hollow and empty, like the hearts of those now struggling after the latest attack. A citywide vigil is scheduled for tomorrow evening and dozens of counselors will be there and at assistance centers across the area to help anyone dealing with trauma in the wake of the shooting. In Louisville, Jay Gray, News 11. Scott, Jessica, now back to you.